June is here and that usually means field trip season, but not this time around. Hundreds of school children usually make their way to Fort George Park to release the fish they've raised. This year, many classes had to cancel their trips. That left organizers scrambling to save the event and the salmon. We're hoping that they'll stay for a few weeks and enjoy the habitat that they have here before they journey off to the sea. Time to say goodbye as these baby salmon start their long journey down the Fraser to the Pacific. Kind of sad and exciting, but it's really sad to see them go off it, and it, when we raise them. For months, Zach Appleton's grade four class has been looking after the baby fish. These students got to visit Fort George Park for the big sand off. But this year, not all kids had the chance. It's made me more creative. I've had to juggle my timings around. Several schools canceled their field trips because of the teacher's job action and lockout. Organizer Terry McClymont has been going to local schools, picking up the salmon fry and taking them to the river herself. So we're still giving them that experience to know that they did a great job raising the fry until this stage and then we release them. But there's more to the field trip than the salmon release. Learning stations and activities right in the middle of nature. To break down any potential bacteria that could get in there. Teacher Janice Wahlberg felt it was important for her kids to be here. They have a lot of energy and this is very hands-on, so absolutely, the students that maybe um, wouldn't get that much from a science textbook are getting 100% out of today, so that's pretty awesome. There's actually three million people in British Columbia, so in October there's going to be as many fish in that river as there are people in British Columbia, in that little tiny river. It's sort of interesting and it's a bit more fun than sitting in the classroom, but it's nice because you get to learn about stuff and learn about how they get here and when they'll come back. This class is learning about the salmon's life cycle by being a part of it. The labor unrest means other kids won't see their fish swim away. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.